Emigration from the United States is the process where individuals born in the United States move to live in other countries. The process is the reverse of the immigration to the United States. The United States does not keep track of emigration, and counts of Americans abroad are thus only available courtesy of statistics kept by the destination countries. Reasons Economic reasons e.g. inexpensive housing in Mexico Family reasons most common with recent immigrants or permanent residents Marriage to a foreigner Business opportunities e.g. American corporations in the Persian Gulf, India and East Asia Religious reasons Political disenchantment, issues Access to benefits and health reasons see universal health care Evasion of legal liabilities e.g. crimes, taxes, loans, etc. Wanting to experience a new culture Individuals living in a diaspora in the United States wanting to go back to their original homelands. <laughs> Net effect The United States is a net immigration country, meaning more people are arriving to the U.S. than leaving it. There is a scarcity of official records in this domain. Given the high dynamics of the emigration-prone groups, emigration from the United States remains indiscernible from temporary country leave. Statistics <inaudible> 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 As of June 2016, the State Department's consular section estimated that there are 9 million non-military U.S. citizens living abroad, an increase from the 4 million estimated in 1999. However, these numbers are often disputed as being underestimated. One reasonably hard indicator of the U.S. citizens' population overseas is offered by the fact that often when they have a child born to them abroad, they obtain a consular report of birth abroad from a U.S. consulate as a proof of the child's U.S. citizenship. The Bureau of Consular Affairs reports issuing 503,585 such documents over the decade 2000-2009. Based on this, and on some assumptions about the family composition and birth rates, some authors estimate the U.S. civilian population overseas as between 3.6 and 4.3 million. Sizes of certain subsets of U.S. citizens living abroad can be estimated based on statistics published by the Internal Revenue Service. U.S. citizens are generally liable for U.S. income tax even if they reside overseas, however, if they receive earned income wages, salaries, etc. while residing in a foreign country, they can exclude an amount of foreign earned income from the U.S. taxation or receive credit for foreign taxes paid. The IRS reported that almost 335,000 tax returns with such a foreign earned income exclusion form were received in 2006. This imposes a lower and very imprecise bound on the number of U.S. citizens who were living and working in foreign countries at the time. In the same tax year, almost 969,000 U.S. taxpayers reported having paid foreign tax on general limitation income, i.e., income other than interest, dividends, and other passive income from foreign sources on their foreign tax credit forms. Of course, not all of these were actually residing abroad full-time. Citizenship Americans can only lose their citizenship in a very limited number of ways, and anyone born to at least one American parent, or born on American soil, is considered to be an American citizen. It is not automatic for a child born abroad to one American parent to obtain U.S. citizenship if the American parent has been living abroad for a long time. Few Americans living abroad renounce their citizenship, with the long term trend being in the low hundreds per year. This changed, however, after the United States government passed FATCA, requiring foreign banks to report information on American deposit holders with bank accounts located outside of USA. Almost 3,000 Americans renounced their citizenship in 2013 alone, many citing the new disclosure laws and difficulty in finding banks willing to engage in said reporting. U.S. <laughs> <laughs> citizens living abroad The list below is of the main countries hosting American populations. 
Those shown first with exact counts are enumerations of Americans who have immigrated to those countries and are legally resident there, does not include those who were born there to one or two American parents, does not necessarily include those born in the U.S. to parents temporarily in the U.S. and moved with parents by right of citizenship rather than immigration, and does not necessarily include temporary expatriates the numbers of Americans resident in Canada and Mexico, for example, are believed to be well over one million. In all other cases, starting with Israel, the figures are estimates of part-time U.S. resident Americans and expatriates alike. Mexico 899,311 United States born residents of Mexico 2017. European Union 800,000 2013, all EU countries combined. Canada 738,203 2011. India 700,000 according to a press release from the White House on 6 December 2017 Philippines 600,000 Israel 185,000 Italy 170,000-200,000 United Kingdom 158,000 South Korea 140,222-2016 Germany 107,755 2013 France 100,619 2008 Brazil 98,000 up to 350,000 Australia 90,100 2011 Japan 88,000 2011 Dominican Republic 82,000 China 71,493 2010 mainland China only Spain 63,362 Colombia 60,000 Hong Kong 60,000 Pakistan 52,486 United Arab Emirates 40,000 Republic of China 38,000 Belgium 36,000 Saudi Arabia 36,000 Switzerland 32,000 Poland 31,000 to 60,000 Lebanon 25,000 Panama 25,000 New Zealand 17,748 2006 Sweden 16,555 2009 Austria 15,000 Hungary 15,000 Singapore 15,000 Netherlands 14,100 2000 Ireland 12,475 2006 Argentina 10,552 Chile 10,000 Denmark 9,634 2018 Costa Rica 9,128 to 50,000 Norway 8,013 2012 Malaysia 8,000 Ecuador 7,500 Guatemala 5417 2010 Uruguay 3000 Portugal 2228 2008 Russia at least 2008 up to 6200 Syria NA in the 1975 Encyclopedia Britannica 2.5% of Syrians reportedly have dual US Syrian citizenship See also Immigration to the United States American Canadians American Mexicans Americans in Cuba American Brazilians Americans in the United Kingdom American Australians American New Zealanders Americans in the Philippines Americans in Japan American Diaspora